Oh, right. Let's talk about sales tax. Oh, your favorite. What is sales tax? Hmm? I mean, in general, yeah, 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 it's like 7.75 right now. Uh, what What is sales tax in general? It's a percentage of uh, what the <coughs> state government puts on sales and it goes to them. Yeah, exactly. So if you go to the store right now and you buy a surfboard, well, I wouldn't even buy a surfboard right now, but I don't know, I came to my head. So if you go to the store right now and buy a surfboard, you'd probably get a pretty good deal because it's the winter time. But if you did, and it said on the, on the price ticket, $300, and you take it to the front register, are you going to pay $300? No. No, a lot more than that. You're going to spend uh, some percentage greater than that because for everything that a company sells, the government wants a piece of that. For everything you buy, the government wants a piece of that. So if you buy a $300 surfboard, they're going to take a percentage of that, charge you extra, and keep that money. They're going to use that money for various things. Uh, they use it for schools, they use it for uh, local bills and bonds, they use it for roads, all sorts of things come out of that sales tax. You with me on the idea of sales tax? Okay. Now, the only thing you don't get charged sales tax on is food. So if you buy food, they can't charge you sales tax on it because the government says, well, we can't, we're not going to charge you to eat. So if you buy bananas and it's, it's, you buy exactly one pound of bananas, it's going to be 69 cents for that pound if you go to Rayleigh's. Or 68, sometimes they have a penny off. Anyway, sales tax is found by doing this. It's found by taking your purchase price and multiplying it by the tax rate. That would give you the dollar amount that you're going to get charged extra. So if you find that out, you're saying, okay, I'm going to add that to my bill. So if you want to find out the total price, if you want to find out the total price, you're going to add the purchase price, what it says on the tag, and the sales tax, the extra you're going to give the government. You okay so far? Does it make sense where, where these things are coming from? To find a percentage, there's another way we can do it besides a proportion. It's multiplying that percentage times the value. So the way that companies calculate sales tax, they will take your your purchase price, multiply it by the tax rate for the community. Uh, it changes from, from county to county. Uh, even city to city have different tax rates for different areas. So they, they multiply that. That's your sales tax. They add that on to the purchase price of your item, and that's how much you give them. You better make sure that they know the sales tax, correct? I mean, what if they have it in their computer wrong that's 9% instead of 7%? Would that be a difference? Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't want to pay 9% sales tax. But right? in Clovis, it's 8.75. It used to be 9.25 because they had a lot of bond issues and stuff. That's a lot. It means for Think about that. For every dollar you spend, that's nine and a quarter pennies that you have to give them on top of that. For every hundred dollars you spend, that's 9.25 extra. So if you bought a new car in Clovis, even if it was, uh, let's see, or you bought a, a house in Clovis or, or something like that, if, if they had charged sales tax on houses, then you'd be paying a whole lot of money extra other than another county where they had a less sales tax. So it adds up after a while. Anyhow, so our sales tax is found by the tax rate times purchase price. If you want to find the total price, you take your purchase price, add on that sales tax, and you got it. You're going to notice that there's two purchase prices here. Do you see that? You can actually find this out a little bit different if you do some factoring, which we don't know how to factor, but I'll give this to you in real life. This is how you would do it. You would say that this is off to the side. We're not going to work with this, but just for your, your own edification. If you want to find out total price, what you do is you take the purchase price and you multiply it times 1 plus the tax rate. You take your tax rate as in terms of a decimal. You add it to 1. You multiply that by your purchase price. That will give you your total price. It's easier than doing both of these things. So if you if you want that down, I can show you how to use that later if you'd like.
It's kind of seem Maybe not surfboard, maybe about snowboard. It's about snowboard season, right? Anybody snowboard in here? Nobody snowboards in here? Oh, me neither. We should all go learn how to snowboard. I heard it's really fun. <laughs> buy a snowboard for $238.50. That's what the, the price on the tag says. And you know because you live in this in this certain community that the tax rate is 8.75%. What I want us to do, this is pretty valuable, right? I mean, because if you're going to go buy something and you know the tax rate, it's probably important to go in ahead of time and know how much you're going to spend, especially for a big ticket item. Now, we all go and we buy stuff like a, I don't know, a CD for $12, if you still buy CDs, or maybe you get iTunes, I don't know. But if you buy a CD for $12, it's going to come out to pretty close to, I mean, maybe $13, $14 maybe at most. It's not going to be a significant jump. But if you go buy a, a brand new TV for six grand, it's going to be way more than six grand when you get out the door, right? Because that tax is going to really get you on that. So we kind of want to know how to figure this stuff out. So here's how you do it. We want to find out the, or here's what we want to know. We want to find out the, the sales tax and the total purchase price. Sorry, sales tax and total purchase price. So total price. So we're going to essentially do both of these equations. So first one, the sales tax. The sales tax equals the tax rate times the purchase price. Can you guys tell me what is the tax rate here? 8.75 what? Percent. Now here's the deal. Listen here. If you multiply this number by 8.75, it's going to look like you're. It's going to look like you're going to charge a bundle. Okay. You're like, wait a second. I owe like thirty thousand dollars for a snowboard. That doesn't make sense. So you need to be able to translate a percentage into a decimal. Can you do that? Geez, I sure hope so. We just covered that section a little while back, right? Can you write 8.75 as a decimal? What is it? Point zero eight seven five. How are you getting point zero eight seven five? Do you remember how to move the decimal place? <coughs> to go from a percentage to a decimal, do you go right or do you go left? Uh, you go to left. So this is going to be point, not point eight, right? Because that would only be one spot. Right. Point zero eight seven five. That's your tax rate. As a decimal, because your, your calculator doesn't know the difference of what you're talking about. Your calculator doesn't know that here 8.75 is a percent, and here 0 0.0875 is the same number as a decimal. It doesn't know that, so you have to punch in the right thing. If you punch in 8.75, it's going to look like you're getting charged a bundle for the snowboard. When in, in actuality, it should, be, it should be more than that. It should be a lot less than that that we're getting charged extra, just a percentage of that. 0 0.0875 is a decimal version of 8.75%. Now, we're also going to multiply that times the purchase price. What is the purchase price that I'm talking about here, folks? $138.50. Yeah, exactly right. Now, I'm putting these in parentheses because I have a whole lot of decimals going on. I don't want to confuse decimals with multiplication. I want to make sure that I know that that's my sales tax rate and this is my purchase <coughs> price. Can you multiply that for me? Give me 0 .0875 times 238.50 and tell me what that is. 28 .87. Wait, say that again. Uh, twenty. It'd be twenty point eight seven. What's it say on your calculator? Twenty point eight six eight seven five. Yeah. Eight yeah. six eight seven five. So it'd be so eight. Six eight. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. So if you walk up to the register, they're gonna go, "Oh, your sales tax is twenty eight 
20.86875. Can you give me uh, 6.875 cents? Are they going to be able to do that? It's going to be 20.87 cents? Exactly, because they're going to round that, aren't they? Because we only deal in, we only deal we only deal in pennies. All right, we don't deal in fractions of pennies, we only deal in, in up to a penny. So this would be $20.87 as far as your, your sales tax goes. Now, can you figure out your whole price with this information? Yes. Add it. Add it to what? Add it to, add it to $238. Okay. So the total price is the sales tax plus the purchase price, or the purchase price plus the sales tax. So that's a $238.50. Plus the twenty eighty seven. That's what the the government's going to take right there for you buying that item. And the total is going to be how much do you get when you add those two things together, folks? Two hundred fifty nine dollars thirty seven cents. Out the door. Two hundred fifty nine dollars thirty seven cents. So if you walk in a store right now in in Clovis, I think they're about eight point seven five percent. And you buy a snowboard, and it says. $38.50, you walk up to the front, they're going to charge you a, a little over 20 bucks. You're going to walk out the store paying two fifty nine thirty seven for that snowboard. That's the way it works in the real world, right? You all pay sales tax because you all buy stuff. That's how it works. How many will feel okay about that? Now try this on your calculator. Ready? Take point zero eight seven five. Add one. Press enter. You should have 1.0875. Mm -hmm. Multiply that by 238.50. The equal sign? Multiply that by what? This number. Did it give you this number? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, that's the way it actually works in a computer. Uh, they'll multiply by 1 because it gives you back the purchase price and automatically adds on the sales tax to it. So that's a, a little quicker way to do it. Uh, I can't show you the why because we, we haven't learned how to factor. You can learn that in math A and math C, how to factor things out. But that's a, a way to do it in real life is to take one point and then the sales tax multiplied by the purchase price. I'm going to have you do one on your own. Next time we'll come back and do a couple together. We'll talk about commission and then move on from our, our section. So, last problem. You have homework? You buy a blender. Don't you guys like blenders? I love blenders. They're so broke, man. I stab my finger with my blender. I still like my blender. So you, your your blender broke? Yeah. Oh, see, perfect. Saturday night. Perfect. It's Friday night. It's, oh, what were you doing Friday night? <laughs> <laughs> Not math. No, I'm just just kidding. I really need to learn how to distribute. <laughs> Distribute this <laughs> across the board. Okay, you buy a. How much are you gonna spend on your blender? Uh, like a good one, so about 100 bucks. About 100, how about 95? 95. How about 99? 99. Wow. <laughs> so you buy a blender. I want a good one. Oh yeah, there's. I I get the best. I love my blender. Blender for 95 dollars. Sales tax for this particular community that he's going to buy his blender in is 8.25. I'm making that up. I have no idea. But let's